What's up everybody, it's your boy Keenan Belsner and today we're going to be making a trap beat. I've got some samples pre-selected here just to speed up the process. So first things first, I'm going to start off with a snare. The clap I should say. I'm just going to drop pattern one into the playlist and we're going to keep moving here. All right, so I'd say that's good for the beat. Now we're gonna move on to the 808. adjustment to the kick here. I think now we're going to move on to the instrumentation. I think for this one, I'm going to go more with a flute sound. Right now, I'm really feeling the kind of southern trap vibe. So we're going to see what we can do with that. Next step. All up. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's pretty good for the initial loop now what i'm gonna do is as you guys can see i have everything in pattern one and a cool trick you guys can do is click on this drop down menu here and click split by channel this is going to separate each sound into their own pattern and then you can create a bunch of variations i like to do it this way especially when i'm in studio with rappers and things like that because it's just a really fast way to work So I think for this one, I want to start out right with the beat. So I'm going to add a few effects to the flute here. Obviously, most samples these days are mixed really well, so you don't have to touch them. I definitely will in the final stages of mixing and mastering and that kind of thing. But for the most part, samples are mixed pretty well and there's pretty good effects. Shout out Murda Beats, by the way. So I'm going to show you guys how I use effects. So first things first, I'm going to delete this chorus for now. I'm going to compress it. And I know I turned it down earlier, so I'm just going to reset that. We can mix it. And then I like to EQ at the end, oh, after I put on all the effects. First step, roll off the low end, get all, rid of all those frequencies you don't need. Now I can hear a lot of like piercing frequencies, so I'm also going to cut that out. these random <laughs> frequencies from the low end messing with the 808 or anything like that so let's hear what we have okay so now we're gonna mix the 808 Now, if you guys have listened to my music, you know I like my bass. I like my 808s hitting hard in the mix. Probably too loud sometimes, but you know, that's just how it is.
always EQ your 808s. Another tip for you guys is that there's no point in keeping frequencies below 30 hertz, I'd say, honestly, um, but especially below 20 hertz because most sound systems, you can't hear them and it's just taking up headroom in your mix. So I always cut them out either on the specific 808 or in the master. One thing I am going to add to the kick is a bit of, uh, I'm gonna add a wave shaper just to have it punch through the mix. I'm gonna center it a bit as well. So there you have it. Please comment, like the video if you learned something and subscribe. I'm definitely gonna be putting out more videos soon and more music. It means a lot to me, so thank you. Thanks for watching.